Libra, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things Libra. And it's completely free, so it's extremely beneficial for you. If this does not resonate for you, I highly recommend you checking out your moon, rising, and Venus signs because sometimes you might be resonating with those specific readings because it's not really about the zodiac signs as much as it is about the title of the actual video. If the title of the video resonates for you, then there's probably a message inside there for you. I'll pull some oracle cards and we'll hop right into your tarot reading. Crossing bridges, it's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. First light, beginning a new cycle. Watching clouds, lie back, rest, and relax. And what you're not seeing is impasse. Reflect and redirect your energy. It's interesting because Scorpio had those two cards in, I do believe, the exact same places last week. So you might want to go check out Scorpio's reading. There might be a message in there for you. I'll pull some tarot cards. Let's see. I feel like you have, um, you've been working on something for some time now. You're finally getting to the other side of a situation. I feel like you're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, and I feel like you're seeing that the work that you have done has paid off. Let me rephrase that. I feel like you have seen um, some of the work that you have done wasted because of somebody who was stealing your energy or your time or deceiving you. Seven of Swords, King of Swords, Four of Wands. I'm going to lay them all down and then I will go over them. Tower, this is going to happen pretty quick. Hermit, Chariot, and the overall energy is Nine of Swords. You, normally, the Nine of Swords in a tarot deck means anxiety and stress and um, not sleeping at night. <clears throat> but I feel like whatever happens when this comes in, it actually gives you peace. It helps you move on fairly quickly from a situation. We'll clarify the Seven of Swords. This person, please tell me about this person who is deceiving you. I feel like this person has a lot of fiery energy. I also feel like this person is very two-faced. I feel like you're not even seeing one day you come across this person and they act a certain way. Then the next day you come across this person and they act a different way. This person is very wishy-washy and very inconsistent in who they are. King of Swords. Your authenticity is something that you need to really focus on. I feel like you might be moving in a direction by people leaving your life because you're going to start doing something that you've never done before. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually speak your truth. You're going to start saying things, but I feel like there might have been some conflict in this, but I feel like you're just not even dealing with conflict anymore. You're just going to focus on you. These relationships that you're in, I feel like they are very good for you and you're very happy with them. I feel like you're in a, a good relationship. I just, I feel like there's two different people here, to be completely honest. I feel like this is a person external and this is a person that you're involved with. For some of you, this might be a relationship. For some of you, this could be a very close friend or a soulmate. Um, this person over here is somebody externally. This could be somebody from work. This could be somebody in your family for some of you. I feel like there's a realization that happens real quick on what's going on. Clarify the tower, please. 
things change big time. I, th what changes is the fact that you're not willing to accept disrespect anymore. You're not willing to accept anything less than what you deserve. You're moving on. It's almost like this person was constantly causing fights. And it's like, you're not, you're like, what is wrong with you? Either be this way or don't be this way. I don't know what it is, but you finally stand up for yourself and you step into this. And that's exactly what happens. That's why you literally go from the tower, the four of swords, the knight of wands, and straight into the hermit. This hermit card, clarified by the devil, and the nine of pentacles. This is about finding toxicity that you've been in. I feel like you might have been so entrenched in toxicity that you didn't even know that you were in it. It's just It was just all around you, and so it was almost like this is how things are just going to be. Chariot, seven of pentacles, and page of pentacles. This is a major lesson about... You finding what's best for you, moving on, taming that inner beast that you have inside of you, taming who you are, figuring out who you are. This is a, a lesson about where you want to go and what you want to do. <clears throat> Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups, and uh, the Awakening. In this deck, it's the Awakening, but it's actually Judgment. So it's almost like you're seeing things for what they are. I feel like you might have had like rose colored glasses on when you had situations with this person and then all of a sudden those glasses are removed because you're seeing things you're not willing to accept what was going on in the past okay libra so in the extended i'm going to go over timeline advice blockages and things you're not seeing also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is to your benefit because then you'll get all things libra notifications for you and a couple of videos are going to pop up here if the title resonates for you i highly recommend you check them out and i will see you over there